All right, everybody. Um, just kind of want to go over some Plex stuff. Um, finally got everything set up. And Plex is an awesome um, video um, stream program. Uh, and I'll actually show you guys a, a couple little tricks um, so that if you are setting up Plex, uh, it will be a little easier. I have not saw I seen any um, of tutorials on Plex, so I'll go over some. Uh, okay, so uh, what I'm doing is just marking these as watch. These are some movies that I had watched or whatnot and on different devices and uh, um, just a little anal about everything being crowded. So um, basically, uh, collection wise, um, it, my collection is, is really huge. Um, you know, the way I've got everything set up is I got movies, I got my network movies, network TV shows and TV shows, and the movies and TV shows are what's actually on the PC, and the network movies and network TV shows are ones that I have saved on network drives. So, like network movies, um, you know, right now it's it's showing 1138, it's actually like 1150, but for whatever reason, Plex didn't grab everything, and I mean, it's, it's so many movies, I don't know which one it is uh, that he didn't grab, but um, what you want to do uh, as far as setting up everything, let's just say, um, what you want to do is actually just go to libraries, click, click plus, um, movies, TV shows, music, so on and so forth, click that, um, you, know, you can click that, and then uh, once you hit next, it's going to ask for browse media folder. Copy and paste, copy and paste whatever um, your path is. So, for an example, um, let's go through um, where I have my network movies at, uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea. So, basically, what I look at is, you know, I have this. Um, let's just say I, I wanted to do movies. If you right click on a movie that's inside the destination, it's going to give you the total path. Uh, it'll come up. I'm surprised that slow. This is the total path that you want to copy and paste. Once you copy and paste that, and you see where it says Seagate 5 terabyte HD move, uh, it will grab everything that's in that folder. And that's all you have to do with that. And if there's a lot of a lot of movies or a lot of files, it's going to take a while. It actually took uh, a few hours to grab everything as far as network movies. Okay, so once they come in, they're going to come in with posters that you may or may want to change. Um, here's a quick uh, way of changing something. So say I don't want this one. Um, I'll, I'll click the edit button. I'll go to poster. Um, that was like the default poster that it grabbed. Uh, the website I'm using as far as... Uh, television shows and movies is this so 21 is the name of the movie I click 21 um, and this is uh, the movie uh, db.org and you click here you click that and then you basically copy this um, address go back to your Plex into your URL paste it so um, I don't do uh, left click paste because you can't do it so control V and then you click upload and then upload so it knows it's already here but you get the point and you can switch on which one you want um, so if I wanted to save changes I can go back to that you know regular one or uh, the one that I already uploaded um, click that and that's how you do that um, now I'll take you guys to the TV shows because the TV shows is what gave me a really hard problem um, how it's set up. Um, plays the music and all that stuff. So let me get out of that because hopefully it doesn't make you much a lot of noise. But anyway, here you can see how that has the correct names. Alright, so I'm going to take you to a program that's going to rename everything. So what happens is if you put, say, the episode American Crime Story and it has, you know, episode 3, it's not going to have the correct file, so it's not going to show you all this stuff in it. And it really isn't going to show the music and all that because it's not going to grab it. It's not going to understand what it is. So what you want to do is download this program, and it's called the Renamer. And all all you're going to do is execute this program, drag the file in, and 
once you drag it in it will rename it and it renames it in like a couple seconds I'll execute the program um, I'm probably running I'm actually running a lot of stuff on this computer and plus with recording Camtasia it's slowing um, down the RAM or whatnot so here you go you drag it down there and it actually renames it let me show you what it will rename some of the stuff to so like my HD, uh, HD uh, you know what let me go to my videos um, create different folders so I should have said that first but create different folders so videos separate movies separate TV shows so for TV shows um, you know let's just say Empire that's how it's named so you'll have Empire 2015 comma three times one um, which is uh, third season episode one third season episode two so on and so forth but this the renamer will actually name it um, uh, it should name it it'll name it in that it won't name it in an exact format the best program which is a $20 program which I actually renamed everything with that program except for you know a couple ones and it was called file uh, what was it called um, I don't even know if I have it a file um, or you know what I don't know the name of it. you can get it on the app store um, but I think it's called file bot if I'm not mistaken um, let me see and yeah it's actually called filebot I believe you can search it on the web yep filebot the ultimate name in TV um, but like I said it's a $20 program and I actually renamed everything the same day so um, it was very easy and it will rename like the whole series at one time uh, so that will get your Plex to actually read all of the movies um, I did not try to rename um, music or whatnot, it was just too cumbersome. I'd rather just organize it in iTunes, you know, so on and so forth. But what happens is, once you and these are all the ones that are in network, so like Boondocks, when you have everything official, it'll play the season. Not every program or your Xbox will play it, Xbox One will play like your music when you do the TV shows. PlayStation 4 doesn't have that program, so it won't do it, although you can still get Plex. So let me uh, kind of give you guys an interaction. And what I'll do is most likely, um, let's say for an example, so my Xbox, um, if I wanted to play it on my Xbox, all I do is grab the program Plex and download the app, and then it'll, it'll show everything on there. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know. I really. Um, it really took me probably three or four days to set this up and the reason being for whatever reason it kept losing um, the programs or the, the files it, it would the network one I guess the network drive might have went out and then I had to find it all over again it took a few hours um, but what's good about this program the movies are a lot easier once you you know name the movies whatever it automatically picks them up um, you don't have to be as specific and then once you add something just click to refresh it refreshes the section uh, if you have a lot more movies say like a thousand movies it's going to take a lot longer um, but it's really it's it's really awesome the way the layout is you know everything that you're seeing on the screen is the same way if I was to put it on the Xbox one or the PlayStation um, you know it's really cool because it gives you the names uh, the actors a little synopsis of what it uh, about the movie so it's one of the best programs I think out there and I actually haven't really dabbled in the Plex until a few days ago so uh, for what it's worth it's better than any of the media players that are on a PlayStation or an Xbox so for me for my collection which is exceeds over a thousand it actually made sense so you know when people come over they, they can look at it and it's just a more official um, opposed to just looking at the name and you're like, well, what movie is that? At least this will show you, say, hey, you know, this one, you know, Stephen King's it. Everyone should know that, but just in case you didn't, it gives you, you know, a little bit of stuff like that, uh, information. So, if you guys have any questions, uh, please post them below. Um, you know, like I said, it wasn't too many vids that I saw as far as adding, um, you know, any problems or what, like, um, that people were having with Plex, but not finding every video or uh, the TV shows because that gave me the most problems so the key thing is with TV shows make sure they're named correctly uh, so download the programs because if not it, it may find them 
and then it will find um, it'll put it in different sections so you'll have like two sections of Walking Dead or two sections of whatever shows you're watching so on and so forth hope that's helped out uh, like I said please uh, post questions below uh, and subscribe and all that good stuff um,